flying cars are no longer a thing of science fiction. Xpeng Aero HT is bringing the future to life with the land aircraft carrier. Get ready for its big debut at CES 2025. This modular flying car combines innovation and versatility like never before. The land aircraft carrier consists of a massive three-axle mothership vehicle housing a two-seat flying unit. The vehicle measures 5.5 meters in length, 2 meters in width, and 2 meters in height, offering an extended range electric powertrain with a remarkable range of 1,000 kilometers. The flying unit is where the magic happens. With the push of a button, it detaches from the mothership, allowing for five to six flights on a full charge. You can choose between manual or automatic flying modes, making it suitable for both seasoned pilots and beginners. And thanks to the 800 volt high voltage system, the aircraft charges from 30% to 80% in just 18 minutes. In November 2024, the land aircraft carrier's unmanned aircraft made its first public flight at the Zhuhai Air Show, demonstrating its advanced capabilities. Since then, it has garnered significant attention, with over 2,000 pre-orders already secured. Xpeng CEO He Xiaopeng has personally tested the land aircraft carrier during road trials, showcasing its potential as a revolutionary hybrid between road and air transport. The big moment is just around the corner. Xpeng Aero HT will showcase the land aircraft carrier at CES 2025, held from January 7th to January 10th in Las Vegas. This event marks the vehicle's debut in the U.S., giving audiences a first-hand look at this groundbreaking innovation. Mass production is set to begin in 2026, with an estimated price of $280,000. Xpeng plans to produce up to 10,000 units annually, ensuring this futuristic vehicle is ready to meet demand. The Xpeng land aircraft carrier is more than a flying car. It's a glimpse into the future of transportation. Xiaomi is making waves in the EV market with its Su7 sedan. This sporty electric car is hitting impressive milestones. Xiaomi has delivered 130,000 Su7 sedans in China, an impressive feat achieved in just nine months. The car debuted on March 28th, with prices ranging from around 29,600 to 31,500 US dollars. After its launch, the Su7 made headlines by racking up 50,000 orders in just 27 minutes. Despite some initial production hiccups, Xiaomi ramped up manufacturing several times this year. By June, monthly production hit 20,000 units, accelerating sales. The numbers tell the story. The first 10,000 cars were delivered in just one month. Over the next 198 days, another 90,000 vehicles hit the roads. And in just 45 days, Xiaomi delivered the final 30,000 to cross the 130,000 milestone. The Su7's sporty design and powerful specs are part of the appeal. It's slightly taller and longer than the Porsche Taycan, measuring 4,997 mm in length and boasting a 3,000 mm wheelbase. The base model comes with a 220 kilowatt rear wheel drive, offering 295 horsepower and a 73.6 kilowatt hour battery. Meanwhile, the top tier model packs dual motor all wheel drive with 663 horsepower, a 101 kilowatt hour battery, and a range of up to 830 kilometers. Xiaomi isn't stopping here. They've announced plans to open a second phase car plant next year, which will boost production even further. And in 2025, two new models will join the lineup, the three motor Su7 Ultra Sedan and the U7 Crossover. Both are expected to supercharge Xiaomi's sales in the domestic market. On December 28th, Xiaomi celebrated one year since the Su7's first official presentation. With over 16,000 units sold in December alone, this young automaker is proving that it's a serious player in the EV world.
Big news from GAC Toyota. The automaker has just launched a special edition of the Camry in the Chinese market, and it's called the Glorious Edition. Let's break down what makes this hybrid sedan stand out. The Glorious Edition lives up to its flashy name with a matte gray paint finish paired with black accents. Blacked out Toyota emblems and Camry lettering on the trunk add a sporty, almost Lexus-inspired vibe. Plus, it comes with a sleek body kit featuring a black grille, a front splitter, a rear diffuser, and a lip spoiler. And those 19-inch alloy wheels? They complete the bold new look. Inside, Toyota has aimed for a luxury feel. The glorious edition features a mix of velvet and genuine leather upholstery. But the real showstopper? A 64-color ambient lighting system that projects cool patterns across the dashboard and doors, creating a premium atmosphere. When it comes to technology, this Camry doesn't hold back. Dual 12.3-inch digital screens provide a modern cockpit feel, while a head-up display keeps essential info in your line of sight. Add to that a panoramic sunroof and a Dynaudio premium sound system, and you've got a tech lover's dream. There's even a boss key button that moves the front passenger seat forward, offering more leg room for backseat passengers. Under the hood, the glorious edition is powered by a self-charging hybrid system built around a 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine. It produces a combined 194 horsepower and 188 newton meters of torque, driving the front wheels. For those looking for alternatives, GAC Toyota also offers a gas-only version and a more powerful 2.5-liter hybrid variant. Pricing for the Camry Glorious Edition starts at $27,800 in China. Buyers can choose between two trims, the HG and the fully loaded HXS. That's quite competitive for a sedan offering this mix of style, tech, and hybrid efficiency. However, this launch comes at a challenging time for Toyota. Since the debut of the ninth generation Camry earlier this year, sales in China have been underwhelming. With stiff competition from local sedan models, the glorious edition is a bold move to regain momentum in this highly competitive market. So, will the Camry glorious edition bring back the glory days for Toyota's hybrid sedan in China? We'll have to wait and see.